so I just want to clarify the last video that um, uh, when reading this uh, article from Jerusalem Host, you realize that there are views that are about to be executed, but then the elephants save them. You see, this is this is cool because it uh, resonates with um, my ideas that the elephant is is something is a what do you say? It's a military. Uh, force in itself you know this is how I started speaking about this from the beginning so let me just read here because this Gaza war is actually um, between Jews and Egyptians you know uh, so it's not about um, it's not about Islam you know so let's but it still has this keyword Gaza so let, let, let's read it a bit a bit more in detail okay the jews in their thousands refused to convert and they were rounded up into the hippodrome of skedia a suburb a suburb of alexandria where they where they for, were forced to remain chained up until ptolemy decided their fate how exactly they were to die. Eventually, the order came that it was uh, to be death by trampling of elephants, and Ptolemy ordered his army to prepare 500 of the beasts for slaughter. Um, for the slaughter, the soldiers massed up the elephants and gave them spiced wine to madden them and make them ready to charge the Jews but there was a further delay before Ptolemy was ready to give the order and the troops continued to goad on the elephants to ready them for the onslaught when after several, several days the emperor's order came through the frantic elephants were released and all of them in one great mass turned on their tormentors the jews were saved and much of the egyptian army was destroyed by the trampling of their own drunken elephants you see and so <clears throat> this is sounds a bit deceptive you know it's the elephant is is looking uh, to do something here and then it changed it, it, its mind and and um, you know, as I'm, as I'm saying from the beginning, it's deceptive, it's aggress aggressive, deceptive, and so on. Uh, uh, so, um, and so, um, I wanted to say something more. Let me think for a moment. Yeah, I, I get it now. So, if you remember uh, David and Goliath, it's it's you know it's it's Israel versus um, uh, Palestine. You know, that's David versus Goliath. Where Goliath is the elephant, you see. And what happens? Because the Goliath too is the elephant movie, you know. And what happens? Well. David versus Goliath. Goliath actually turns on his own, you could say, because the war, uh, the the armies will will not fight. So um, it's the same kind of result that um, a Goliath. So if if you see this these elephants that were to trample to death. Um, you could see them as a Goliath um, turning around and, and you see um, and it becomes deceptive it becomes 
um, not not expected. You see that that that's it. It's so poetic this stuff, and and I, I like how it's it just automatically becomes how I thought of it. You know, this 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 was my original thought that I said that it was supposed to be deceptive. It was supposed to be aggressive, and that's what it is right now when I'm reading this. Um, and those keywords, you know, pop up, and uh, and again, it it is. It's almost as if Goliath is on the side of of David, you know, almost as if if you think about the the myth or the you know the the King David of, of Israel, you know, it's almost as if Goliath is on his side, you know. Almost as if he accepted for it to happen, you see? Because um, how else did it happen, you know? How else did a giant lose? Unless it's it's a deception. You see, it, it's uh, multifaceted. This is multifaceted, and it's it can you can find adept in this if you think about it um okay bye